update on my play carrier and kind of how I've been running it lately. There's not too many differences, just a couple items new that I'm running or at least running them differently. And I just kind of want to go over it for some of you that are maybe new to the channel or just got a plate carrier recently. I have done some videos on this in the past. If you're interested, make sure to check it out on the channel. But yeah, so with that being said, the first thing I want to talk about that I have got recently or that's kind of like a new item that I'm running. I went ahead and got a tourniquet holder. It's holding my cat tourniquet. Make sure you guys don't cheap out when you do get your tourniquets. And also make sure you kind of have it set up to where it's going to be quick. Make sure to see if you have it like that, you're going to have to move that around. That way you can move this out and get it tight. So with that being said, make sure to set your tourniquet up proper. That way you're ready to use it. And also make sure you're training with your tourniquet. So but yeah, so it's basically just going to have some Velcro on one side and it's going to have room for your tourniquet and it's going to be elastic. So it's not too loose and you can put them on your chest rigs, your backpacks, your plate carriers, whatever. Um, it's just, yeah, a new item that I'm running and I'm stoked with the new tourniquet holder. It's nice and central now. I can get it with my left or right side. Everything else for the most part pretty much is the same. Uh, really quick breakdown. It's a micro, bat, micro pouch. Um, this is going to do Velcro as well. This is just basically holding my batteries and other stuff. You can do admin stuff in here, your keys, whatever. I got some zip ties, batteries, chapstick. Uh, batteries for my comms, red dot, my ear pro, basic stuff like that, weapon light, batteries. And again, you can just kind of push that on there and that's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty solid. You got to pull it off there with some effort if you actually want it to get off. But if you do need to get it off, you can obviously rip it off really quick. So micro bat, micro pouch for micro bat systems. Uh, this placard itself is going to be from T-Rex Arms. It does have nice kydex in there for your magazines when you're reinserting. You can hear that click and retention. Those are nice. Magazines are going to be 10 round magazines because I am here in California. These are going to be hex 10 round magazines and a 30 round body. Those are really sweet. As far as my push to talk setup, this is going to be a Beofeng push to talk running all the way to my UV5R radio from Beofeng. Um, shoulder pads are going to be from SKD Tactical. They help out a lot with this AC1 plate carrier from T-Rex Arms. That's the people's usual gripe is the shoulder straps on the T-Rex Arms AC1s kind of uh, thin. So these uh, shoulder pads from SKD Tactical, these are the MK1s. They help out a lot. They're just going to be a Velcro. Let me show you really quick. There we go. So again, they're just going to be Velcro pads. You're going to put on your AC1. This is the normal AC one. The AC one does have some thin shoulder pads in there, but these obviously make it a lot more comfortable if you're gonna be having it on for an extended period of time. And again, you're just gonna put it over the shoulder pad like so. And then you're good to go. So yeah, as far as my plate carrier, like I said, it's gonna be the AC one from T-Rex Arms. The plates that I'm running are gonna be HESCO L210s. Um, these gloves are going to be the Magpul gloves. Running some electrical tape. I got a Sharpie. Um, I also have a little stream light, little flashlight on the side right here. Um, I also got some chem lights. Like I said, UV5R radio. As far as the side pouch, I just have a little Gerber knife that I really like. It's handy. Um, again, it's, I have a multi-tool on the other side we'll get into in a bit, but it's nice having that. As far as in my pouch right here, not going to get to this too often, probably for the most part, but it is a little right in the rain notebook with an extra UV 5 r radio and a waterproof bag taped up just to be safe. And that's about it on the cummerbund. As far as the pouch back here, you can't really get to it too much when you have the plate carrier on. So I leave that one empty. And if I ever need to put anything in it, I can. Yeah, that's about it as far as the uh, cummerbund. Again, the radio is going to be my UB5R radio. Set up to my push to talk. And yeah, that's about it for this side. As far as on this side, like I said, I have my Magpul gloves, electrical tape, Sharpie. I also have a paint can opener back here. This is really nice in case you ever get a stuck brass, a brass that gets expanded in your chamber and it won't come out. 
this helps with this little lip right here whether it's your ar-15 chamber or a nine millimeter chamber whatever again sometimes you get brass that gets expanded and that just helps uh pop it out so i just have that kind of set up behind my rifle placard from t-rex arms um, on this side i have my leatherman multi-tool i have a headlamp that's in the ziploc bag with the extra bag to be safe and i also have pretty much like a ski mask in case it's cold at night whatever if you're larping with your homies doing weirdo stuff uh, in case it's windy whatever it's nice having that and then you know, i got a patch my blackbeard patch on the back this is going to be an ir patch as well so again in case you're doing night stuff it's nice to be able for people to see you in the back um obviously if in a shtf scenario i probably would rip that off but again it's nice for people to be able to see if you are training with your friends and again i just have my push to talk wired up on the side over here so as far as the cummerbund it is going to be standard with the ac1 but a little pro tip to keep the uh plate carrier from sagging too high, far down in the back and riding too high in the front i like to put the cummerbund on the back as low as i can and then on the front and then on the front side i like to put the cummerbund as high as i can and that kind of helps keep the plate carrier from riding too high in, in the front and too low in the back or vice versa it kind of keeps it nice and level so that's a little pro tip on the plate carrier part with your cummerbund setup but yeah that's a, pretty much it i also one more thing i'm going to be running the t-rex arms trauma pads they're plate backers these really help with making it a lot more comfortable as well you obviously put them on the body side and that's going to help making the plate carrier a lot more comfortable just so you know so um I do recommend getting these. They also make the plate carrier and the plates a lot more snug, which is nice. And make sure when you're putting them back in, get this nice and tight to again, avoid any extra room or movement. Just a little pro tip there. So I highly recommend the T-Rex Arms trauma pads as well. They're gonna make it a lot more comfortable. So yeah, just wanted to do a little update. Again, show you my uh, centralized tourniquet holder, how it's a lot more neutral left and right arm side, easier access. So yeah, I hope this video helped you guys as far as if you're looking for a plate carrier setup, or maybe some of you guys that are new to the channel, I hope this uh, video helped you guys out. So if you guys have any questions or comments on any of these items on this kit, make sure to shoot me a comment down below. And thank you guys for watching.